Here we have our valve safety lockout system. Now this is cast out of 2205 stainless steel duplex. And there's, th there's three parts to this. It's what we call the, the, uh, the disc, which is this main part that goes between the actuator and the mounting. And then there is the tongue that moves in and out. And then underneath the actuator, which mates with the shaft, is what we call a puck. Now this goes on a square shaft, obviously. So this takes up the, the shaft of the valve. Now as the valve turns 90 degrees, this will turn 90 degrees. So what this does is when it gets to its position here that you want to lock the valve out, you push this tongue in, that will physically lock the shaft of the valve. Even if you turn the actuator back on, this puck won't be able to turn because it's engaged with the tongue. Now being pressure die cast out of stainless steel duplex is very strong, so the, the torque required to shear this is not what can be provided by the actuator, hence the safety lockout. Now when it's in its lock position, the user will go along with their lockout tag, it's something that they only have a key to, and that will go through here. Here we just use a stainless steel bolt. That's how we send it out to keep it in its either closed or open position. But that will actually physically be a padlock with a unique key to the user. Very easy to use. Push in, pull out, lock off. The good thing about this lockout is it's actually a lockout to the valve, the shaft of the valve. You have some which lock the air out which they can work quite well too, but you're not physically locking the valve out like you are with this. So even if you made a mistake with the air and the actuator went on when you were working on it, this valve would not open or close depending on the set out that you've got. Okay. These lockout devices, are they able to be fitted between existing actuator and valve? In most cases, yes. It depends on the height of the stem you've got. You've got to have a stem high enough that it can still have engagement in the female driver, the actuator, and fit this what we call our disc and puck in. So these these come in different thicknesses. Uh, as we go up through the mountings, you know, this is probably an F7, you've got F10, F12, F14, F16. As it gets bigger, obviously the torque of the actuator and the valve is bigger, so the thickness increases. Okay, so what range of thicknesses are we talking about? Roughly uh, 8, 10, 12 mil? No, oh, even larger for the bigger ones. It really depends on the torque of the actuator. So they're, they're sized off the mounting. So say an F07 mounting has a max torque that you can put through it. The torque of this is higher than that. So the safety factor is inbuilt.